All right, we're going to film about meiosis <laughs> and my crew, the General Biology 1 class of, of fall 2009 from Simpson University. Over on this side, we have Courtney Awesome Wicks, Brianna Esquivel, Osama Onaganor, MJ Darling. Over on this side, the guys, Song Mawa, Chris Griffin, and Chris Warner. Okay. So we have, in the middle, we have a uh, cell nucleus that is in interphase. The cell has copied its DNA, is now ready to begin condensing the chromosomes. Somebody could do the honors on that. <clears throat> Thanks, Chris. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to see that. Ooh, zoom in. The chromosomes are condensing. Uh, zoom back out. Okay. Now, when the chromosomes are fully condensed, they condense for meiosis in what way? Guys, go ahead and put them together. Not in metaphase, though. Not in metaphase. Let's, let's not mix this. Let's not make it. There we go. Let's not make it look like they're lined up yet. All right. We see that we have, on the bottom, we have a copy of chromosome 15, two copies of chromosome 15, the homologous chromosomes. In the middle, we have X chromosomes. So this uh, cell is what, Kite? Female. 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 Good. Good job, guys. And then at the top here, we have chromosome 1, which is the longest. Okay. Go ahead and make that cell, we'll do a quick sex change operation and make the cell uh, male. Very good. So in that case now we have an X and a Y in the middle, because the Y is a little tiny guy that hardly has any genes. Okay, let's switch it back to a uh, female cell so we can go ahead and do our division. All right. So we have this prophase 1 of meiosis. Go ahead and move it to metaphase 1 of meiosis, guys. That's fine. All right, so at metaphase one, the chromosomes have lined up side by side. And we see that, uh, that in this combination, we have a maternal chromosome 15 on the left and paternal chromosomes, uh, the paternal X and chromosome one at the top. The maternal uh, chromosomes of one and, and X are, uh, are to the right as well as is maternal 15, or paternal 15. But if we were to do this a different way, how could that happen? MJ, why don't you switch your chromosomes around a little bit and show us a, a different way that we could do this. At metaphase one, we could have an alternate arrangement. This would be an example of what process it work? Independent Very good, independent assortment. All right. Hey, uh, Chris, why don't you switch around the others, or one of the others. Uh, go ahead, Chris Warner. You haven't been in the film too much yet. Okay. You know what we forgot to do, guys? We forgot to do any crossing over. That would have happened in prophase one. So why don't we go ahead and do that now, since we've uh, missed our opportunity already. But this may be even better because we can see it kind of in action. Careful, the pen's coming out of the middle. Yeah. So what Brianna is demonstrating, oops, oh no, she ripped the chromosome, what happened? No, uh, what Brianna is demonstrating is a crossing over where the end of chromosome 15 are being swapped between maternal and paternal copies. The processes that make that happen would happen in prophase 1, but we don't see them often until metaphase or even anaphase. All right, so now guys, we're ready for anaphase 1. Let's go ahead and move our chromosomes apart. A little, actually, that's a little too far for right. No, that, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. There. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Anaphase one. Uh, they've moved apart. Let's go ahead and kind of bunch them up a little bit for uh, telophase and cytokinesis. We have kind of two different cells now formed. All right. The chromosomes wouldn't decondense between divisions, and they would um, go into a prophase, which they're essentially already in now. Prophase, which one is this? Prophase two, right? Okay. Now you would line them up for, or you do go into uh, metaphase two next for the next step. All right. So if metaphase 2, what's going to happen next? Anaphase two. And anaphase 2 does what? 
Splits apart sister chromatids. Very good. All right, get to it. All right, so there's anaphase 2. And now go into telophase The, chroma, the chromosomes would condense back, or sorry, decondense, spread out. Oh, let's lead them not quite so close together. And you'd have four haploid cells. Very good. Each one of those cells has just one copy of each chromosome. All right, now just one last question. How could we have gotten a different arrangement of all this? Right, during independent assortment, we could have had various ways that they could have lined up. What's another way? that gives us more uh, diversity that we didn't show. We had right, so we, we only showed one crossing over event, but in a real cell you'd have obviously many crossing over events, and so each one of those chromosomes would be a mixture of, you got it? Maternal and paternal. Maternal and paternal, very good. All right, good job everybody. Here, I'm going to show my crew one more time. Everybody give yourselves a hand, very good.